Hi Leo, this is your reading for May 2020 for Twin Flames. So I hope you're doing well and I'm hoping this reading really gives you lots and lots of clarity, information and knowledge. So we are going to have a look, we're going to see what's coming through and uh, yeah, what messages I can also give to you. So I do want to mention if you'd like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month as I'm literally losing my voice. This is bizarre. There we go. It's a bit, it's a bit better. <laughs> um, every single month, yeah, I do a giveaway. So do check out the description box below. All the information is always there. If you would like to purchase a private paid uh, reading, information is also in the description box below. And they are done within 24 to 48 hours between, you know, 24, most of the time they're actually done in 24 hours. <laughs> Just thought I'd let you know that as well. But um, if you'd like to, of course, um, you know, check out the description box below. All the information is there, including a link to my Etsy shop where I sell handmade intention bracelets. So these are beaded. This is the um, Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine bracelets. And you may think, uh, Moonlight, they kind of look the same. One has a little bit more blue. The other one has a little bit more pink. And again, you know, they're twin bracelets, twin flame bracelets. So yeah, similar but different. Same, same but different. So free international shipping. Um, and also um, do check out the uh, Etsy shop as well for the reviews because then you can see how other people have also seen results with them, how they have felt, um, what they think about them, you know, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, so everything's always in the description box below. And these are meditated with, they're sage, they're handmade by me, free international shipping, and I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> I put a lot of time into them, so of course I want to talk about them. Plus I get new viewers every video, so um, of course I want to be able to share my passion and what I love to do. So Leo, let's get started. Let's get, okay, 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 let's get started, quite literally. <laughs> a bunch of cards just came out. Do you know what? I feel the energies of these though. So let's, let's. Nine of Wands. Ace of Wands. Ooh, a magical spark. Yeah. <laughs> it's like when I feel like I want to say something, the cards just reflect what I, what I say. Okay, so Knight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Three of Wands, Ten of Wands, not surprised by that because, you know, Nine and the Ace, it, I, I really did envision that energy. Ten of Wands, got the King of Swords, Queen of Wands, King of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, the Guru. Let's take the card at the bottom of the deck as well, just to complete the reading. It is the... Seven of Wands. All right, okay, all right, okay. Ooh, there is a spark and they are thinking. And just like how you most likely are thinking about this entire connection as well, the reason why they're thinking so much is because, you know, May has some strong energies, some strong energies. You've got the Venus retrograde, the Saturn retrograde, and the Jupiter retrograde um, in May right, that are going into retrograde, those plants are going into retrograde. On top of that, you've got Gemini season, and you've also got um, Taurus season, right, in May, and Taurus is ruled by Venus, and Gemini is known to be about the twins. So, you, you see what we've got here? We've got a real month of progression in regards to a twin connection. You've got strength and stability, and the prospect of a future opening up here. Slowly but surely, I have to say, slowly but surely, May is really a month of giving space and time to your twin. And I know that sounds really difficult. It's like, wait, I mean, like, what? It doesn't, it doesn't mean that you have to, like, let go of your twin or anything like that. It's just about giving some space, you know, letting them come to you a bit more, especially if you have a, a difficult situation or a difficult connection. Let them come to you. Space, time, uh, absence, distance makes the heart grow fonder. So three of wands here is really about distance, space, and time. The nine of wands here is really about potential and progress. But what 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 does that entail? Right, it, it entails very much so that the more space you give your twin, the more they have time to think about things. The more they have time to really get through their obstacles and challenges without feeling completely burdened. Because what I do feel here is that there are some things that you may be dealing with 
and even your twin may be dealing with of things that you're just holding on to and things that your twin is also holding on to. So this is about, you know, going through, sorry, I keep hitting the table with my hand by mistake, but the um, each of these wands are being held on to in a really tight, dramatic way. Here, things are separated. There is a spark. There is a realization, but there is also consideration of all of these thoughts. So what I really see happening here for you, Leo, is this energy of, you know, it's it's not really, it's more letting go, you know, letting go of certain thoughts that have really, really just challenged you. And these retrogrades are going to help you to do that. You know, Jupiter is about abundance. It's about the bigger picture. It's about your future, especially in regards to a twin flame connection. What is the bigger picture, right? Is it being together? Or is it a continuing, uh, is it continuing the connection? Or is it actually, for some of you, finding this person, right? Whatever it is, it is really about some thoughts that could be blocking you. You know, there could be some things you're really holding on to that are just getting in the way. So this is about healing, releasing, letting go of things. This can also be past troubles in this particular connection. It can also be about trauma. When you start to let go of these things, you will start to really become much more clear. You will feel much more nourished. You will go from the Ten of Wands to the Queen of Wands. We've also got the Saturn retrograde, and that is all about structure, routine. It's about our personal life. It is about, you know, separating certain things. It's about karma as well, Saturn. When it goes into retrograde, it is making us realise the value of ourselves. And twins, you know, even though there's the whole thing of, you know, it's one being split into two beings... You're still two individual people, independent people that complement one another. You're not two halves that make up a whole. So for the progression of a twin flame connection, it's important for our individual selves to feel nourished, to feel strong, to feel confident and to feel balanced. You know, like we've got something really strong to give. I feel confident in my own energy. And that's what May is bringing you, right? April showers bring May flowers. It is really a continuation of your energy, fighting for yourself, not giving up on yourself, and really just becoming the best version of you. This helps tremendously the twin flame connection because it, sh it stops any obstacles and challenges from getting in your, into your path, right? And staying in your path, should I say, that's what I meant. But it's very important because twin flame energies are based on energy. So your twin can also feel sometimes these obstacles, these challenges, and these struggles. And so what's really important is May is considering all the factors of the retrogrades, including the Venus retrograde, it really showcases that the time really is now for you to focus on yourself, to nourish yourself, to give yourself self-love. That's what the Venus retrograde is here to teach you, to give yourself that self-love and to focus on you. By doing that, you're also balancing out the energies, especially if you feel like you're chasing or you feel like your twin is, you know, on a completely different level right now to you. It balances out the energies because you're redirecting so much of your energy that you give to your twin back into yourself. And that is very powerful. You know, it's like you're separating these ones here, these things that you don't feel so good about. You're separating them into a much more manageable size, right? Seven and three, nine and one. You're, you're separating it somehow and it's making you feel so much clearer. The guru, spirituality, mindfulness, you know, meditation, yoga, journaling, um, different forms of mindfulness can really help you throughout May because, you know, it's not advisable to chase during the time of a Venus retrograde. So Venus retrograde goes from May 13th to June the 25th. Please don't chase, you know, please don't chase. Let your twin come to you. Obviously give them as much as they give you, but try not to chase, right? Let them come to you. Let them, you know, progress towards you from the knight to the uh, king of swords here and also the knight of pentacles. Even if they're slow about it, let them come to you, knight to the king here as well, right? This will just make things much more balanced in terms of the connection and it will make you feel more fulfilled. But also it will give you time to understand the value also of self-love towards yourself. Not that you don't understand the value, but more so, because as human beings, we can always progress and give ourselves more, right? So that's what I'm seeing right here. This is truly the month for you, Leo, and this will balance out the energies in a twin flame connection, which you feel may be quite unbalanced. You may feel like maybe you're putting in more work, or maybe things are just not right right now. Okay, so this is your reading, Leo. If this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and my bracelets, which are on Etsy and Patreon as well. All of that is down there. And do take care as well. Bye, Leo.